Hi, Dr. P here to talk about something that would have been taken for granted 50 years ago, but not now in the 21st century. And that is that game designers must be realists. The reason this is now in question is that there's a major disease in 21st century America, and that's failure to recognize reality. People believe what they wish was true because that's more pleasant than reality for them. Anyone familiar with the pandemic or politics or attempts to erase history and who has a working brain is aware of this. So if people don't see reality, it makes it difficult to do things. Because what you do generally in life and certainly in game design and in other project management is to recognize what reality is and modify it to make it work the way you want. If you don't know what's actual, how can you fix or improve a game or any other project? So here's how project works. We have a plan. We're going to execute the plan and then monitor to see how well we're executing it. Then control to fix where we haven't executed well. And then we have to modify the plan because things didn't go exactly the way we expected. And then we execute further and keep going in that cycle until we finish. In game design, it's a little bit different in the nomenclature, but it's the same thing. You have conception of a game. Ultimately, you get to where you have a prototype. You play test that prototype. You analyze what happened in that playtest, which was probably not what you were expecting in some respects. Then you modify the game, trying to get it closer to what you want. And then you have a prototype that you have modified and you play test it again. And you keep going round and round until you decide to quit or until you progress to something that you can submit and so forth. It's just like any other project, whether it's to build a bridge or a ship, or compose a symphony or a film, so forth. Everything depends on knowing what the situation actually is, on knowing reality. At the point of monitor, if you fail to understand what's really happening, how can you fix or improve it? How can you control it? In game design, this is when you analyze the playtest results. But if you fail to recognize what is what, how can you succeed? How can you modify the game to make it better? And the answer is, you can't. You have to be a realist. Or it's just not going to work. Now here's a diagram of the game revision process during playtesting. If you can't identify important problems, because you've lost track of reality, none of this can work. If you can't understand what the playtesting results are or show, you're doomed. Wishful thinking is verboten. It's just not going to work. Now, how do you recognize reality? Well, people have written entire books about this, but I'll give you a few things to consider. Use logic and reason. Perhaps even the scientific method in some cases. Certainly rely on science while recognizing that scientists can get it wrong too. Do not rely on wishful thinking. Separate what you want to be true from what is true, because they'll usually be two different things. There's a phrase that's common, it is what it is. It may be a cliche, but it's nonetheless true. So rely on evidence, not on what someone tells you, especially someone with a vested interest such as politicians. Now, fortunately, you're probably not going to run into politicians in game design, although it's conceivable in certain cases. You're more likely to run into producers and marketers who want the game to be something that it isn't. Now, there's a caveat to this. Many games are models. Most contemporary tabletop and casual video games are often abstract, having little or nothing to do with the real world but others are models of some reality. It could be a fictional reality. You can have a model of the third age of the Lord of the Rings. Any model of reality is subject to the limitations of models. Inevitably oversimplification. But people cannot understand all of reality. They have to simplify. 
And in this case, then, idealists, not realists, are needed in this one sense to figure out what you're going to present in the model and what you simply cannot. We can use models to focus on certain aspects of events, but that inevitably leads us to pay less attention to other aspects. The more accurately you focus on one aspect of reality in a model, the less accurately others will be portrayed. In an odd way, <clears throat> it reminds me of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, where when you measure something, you change it. So in modeling, some idealism is required in order to portray reality as you wish, despite the limitations of models. But you still start with a recognition of what reality is. So to be a good game designer, you can indulge in wishful thinking and dreaming. Reality is what matters. Thanks for listening.